All 10th grade students need an extracurricular intervention. And what I mean by this is that they need a college counselor, a high school teacher, an advisor to sit down with them and analyze in a constructive way what, if any, extracurricular activities they were involved in in ninth grade and discuss with the student what that means for their future extracurricular involvement. Because 10th grade year is really the time to strategically decide what type of extracurricular entity are you going to develop into during high school. 10th grade is the launching pad from which you can become a leader in extracurricular undertakings for the remainder of your high school career. Ninth grade is a year to get comfortable with high school academically in terms of the uh, expectations socially, but 10th grade is the year that you can really start to charge forward, charge ahead with your extracurricular game plan. So 10th grade year, particularly in the first few months of 10th grade year, is the ideal time for a student to sit down with some sort of mentor, again, a high school advisor, ideally a college counselor, to discuss holistically what, if any, extracurricular involvement has that student undertaken so far, and what, if any, extracurricular activities can he or she start leading in over the coming weeks, months, and years. If you have a good extracurricular game plan in 10th grade, you are most likely to develop into the type of leader you are capable of by 12th grade, someone who is able to actually really impress college admissions officers with his or her overall extracurricular profile. The great extracurricular resumes don't get made in a day, just like Rome wasn't built in a day. You can't develop a great extracurricular resume on your application in 12th grade if you didn't actually lay the foundation for extracurricular success with an extracurricular intervention sometime in the beginning, the first half at most, of 10th grade year.